So I have heard that you really want to level up. I've heard that you want to start taking control of your life. I've heard that you want to start making moves for yourself. Okay, well, this video is for you. Today, we're going to be talking about leveling up and taking control of your life and how magical life becomes when you start doing these things, when you start taking control, when you start prioritizing yourself and making yourself like the main character. And I know that's like a buzzword that everybody seems to be using and it's like all over the place, but there is sort of true meaning and true consequences of actually taking the choice and making the choice to be that main character. So I'm gonna go through my five, six tips that I have kind of incorporated into my life to make myself level up, make myself kind of create the dream reality that I want and um, making my life magical. One thing that we all need to start doing, but is something that actually very few of us realize is like really, really bad is doom scrolling on social media. This is something that like has literally like plagued my life and has used up so much of my energy and so much of my time um, when I could be dedicating it to actually like getting to where I want to be, taking action to getting to where I want to be. Um, and it's literally caused people, including myself, so much anxiety, so much like um, self-esteem issues. The problem with social media is that it's literally designed for you to be stuck to it. It's like a hypnosis. Like I said, the explore page, it's like you're in hypnosis, you're literally scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it's so bad for you. Um, for, certainly for me, it causes me to compare myself, which is just never a good hole to get down. Um, and it causes so many self-esteem issues, just constantly being bombarded with what you could be doing or what you're not doing or how other people are leading their life. And it can just be such a low vibrational activity. You can't even get off it. You're like, oh, I can't bother to be getting on with my activities. Like, honestly, if I look at my phone in the morning and start scrolling, I'm on there for like an hour. And then I'm like, I don't even feel motivated to like get on with my activities for the day because I've used up so much of my like emotional energy on doom scrolling. It needs to be intentional. So. I think this is a particularly a, a problem for content creators. Honestly, if I wasn't a content creator, I probably wouldn't even have an Instagram, TikTok account because I'm conscious of how it makes me feel like a lot of the time. But most successful content creators I can imagine aren't doom scrolling because they know that they have to be focusing on other things to actually create the content that they're gonna be posting. Keep yourself in the real world and what's going on in reality because as we all know, certainly with Instagram, it's very fabricated. So spending too much time on it can literally give the illusion that like you're not good enough and that your life's not exciting enough when in actual reality, no one's life is, very few people's life is actually what they betray on social media. So doom scrolling is definitely something to be intentional about. The next thing that I actually attribute a lot of my success to and a lot of my like leveling up to has been something that I don't think people are gonna expect and that is removing shitty ass people from your life. I decided that I wanted to move away from certain friendships and certain relationships um, initially because like, I was anxious all the time. I was just constantly um, worried about my relationship with them, wondering like where I stood with them. And every time I get a message from certain people, um, I would feel anxious. And at the time I didn't really clock like how objectively bad that is like if you're literally getting anxious about somebody messaging you or somebody interacting with you or meeting up with somebody that is just not a good sign but outside of just wanting to do it because it just like reduced my anxiety um it's had a sort of unintentional second effect that i wasn't expecting but is actually really positive and this is how it relates to leveling up it has brought in so many opportunities career-wise it has brought in so many opportunities for new friends it has brought in so many opportunities for um financial abundance and i was not expecting that um and i think i know why the reason is when you decide to remove energy that that brings your brings you down lowers your vibration makes you feel anxious makes you feel these like low feelings on a consistent basis you're freeing up energy you're freeing up time you're freeing up emotional capacity for things that you can actually do to make your life the way that you want it to be you're freeing up that capacity to dedicate to other things that are actually good for you that actually could bring you happiness and joy and um gratitude you know you're no longer distracting yourself with burdening yourself with these you know worries about where you stand or um getting nervous or anxious about meeting up with them like that is just not okay and it just takes up energy that you would ordinarily be able to spend on something that's actually like good for your future i think taking the action which is really hard by the way especially when you're kind of like quite intense with somebody or you know you know that you're not going to be able to like 
distance yourself from the friendship without like a fight from the other person it can be really really hard the problem is when you kind of keep those connections around you're carrying around like a ball and chain that you wouldn't ordinarily need to carry around and it just kind of like essentially these people drag you down they're like drains when you ordinarily like you're you're full of light and you're full of um just energy and then having somebody suck that and drain that from you um means that you you're kind of like it's like an uphill battle it makes absolutely no sense from my experience i've discovered that the more i i'm intentional about my friendships and relationships the better my life has become the more i've leveled up because you're freeing your, your life up for for things that matter and you're opening doors up for yourself in more than just sort of social connections um when you decide to remove you know toxic people from your life i feel like something that kind of relates to this and my third point um is going with your gut more trusting yourself more i think the moment that you start to actually trust um yourself and honor your feelings and your intuition um the less you're going to tolerate bullshit and the more you're going to be drawn to things that actually positively impact your life i honestly feel like i've got to a point now where i trust myself so much and i'm so in tune with my gut or at least to a far extent that i'm resistant to anything that doesn't feel good like if i feel as though if i feel anxious about something if i feel like a funny feeling about something or someone or a situation i will just trust that feeling and move in a way that honors my gut that honors my anxiety or my like feeling because honestly i don't have anxiety like a medical condition like it's not something that i think everybody experiences anxiety um but mine's not um you know chronically anxious or anything like that and i know that because i used to be that way and now so whenever i feel anxious now i know that it's because i shouldn't be in a certain place and i shouldn't you know something doesn't feel right it's allowed me to be discerning about kind of business related things as well so for example say if i meet up with somebody who's like a potential client and my gut doesn't feel good i will literally not choose to sort of work with that person because my gut's like mm, if you basically do and you don't listen to your gut like there will be consequences down the line that's what literally i hear that's what i kind of like hear in my in my head so i just avoid it and i'm so glad that i do because um then when my gut does feel good about something and i don't have that funny feeling i end up having like really great connections with people business related connections with people um so it does serve me really well i think trusting your gut and honoring your gut um is never going to let you down it's never going to fail you um because sometimes your body knows things before you do and i think that's really important to trust i think often we take on the limiting beliefs of society of what society tells us we take on the limiting beliefs of what other people tell us um so for example i went to a family member recently and told her about a decision i'd made to remove myself from like a friendship and because that family member is a people pleaser and somebody that unfortunately chooses to have people in their life that don't make them feel good the advice that they're coming to me with is going to be from that place it's going to be from that place of like oh you know you should have just left it or you should have just you know you don't need to call things out you don't need to like confront problems that for me that kind of advice if i if i took that advice um it would not be true to myself i would not be honoring my gut fortunately i am in a place where i trust my gut more than like what other people tell me but i can see from maybe like a former point of view a former self that i would have taken that advice on and been like oh nah you know i'll keep that connection in my life just because it's easier than to break it off so i'm quite lucky in that i'm no longer in that situation anymore of feeling as though like i have to take other people's advice um other people's advice can be useful at times and it's certainly good to like pick and choose what other people say and you know cherry pick you know what other people suggest but i think at the end of the day you know your body best you know you best um and so to take other people's advice is something that you should do with discernment as not everybody well no one has the same experience as you not everybody has the same limiting beliefs as you and to let that kind of like um take up space is going to cause you pain in the future by for example keeping a connection around that doesn't serve you anymore and that lowers your vibration so yeah obviously it can be applied to not just friendships and you know careers and stuff but it can be applied to literally any situation like even work situation so even for me i'm like oh i have a funny feeling about going to a certain place i will just be like mm, there's a reason why i probably shouldn't like go to this event or go for a walk at this time because i feel like maybe 
I'm not meant to. So I'm just very in tune with myself and I try to like trust what my body is telling me and it takes practice it's not just something that you do like that you have to like practice doing it and the thing is um i remember one of my favorite content creators saying the other day really good point that was like only through not trusting your gut do you realize how important trusting your gut is only by experiencing but ba having bad experiences by not trusting your gut do you start to trust your gut more and start to value your and honor your gut more so it's a process. Something that has really, really leveled me up um, is making a point of nourishing my mind. Taking the time to meditate, taking the time to listen to affirmations, taking the time to listen to or say mantras, and taking the time to read is really, really important. I think we can be bombarded with a lot of negative vernacular, such as like the news, what we see on social media, doom scrolling, um, and also gossiping like other people telling us stuff that kind of like lowers our vibration so be being intentional about how you're nourishing your mind is really important reading fiction is great because you develop empathy you develop um compassion and you also just enjoy like a nice story and you can get really enthralled it's just reading in general is really good for your brain um and it exercises your brain in ways that other activities don't um, obviously non-fiction is great as well because you're learning something, you're discovering, you know, exploring all, all these different aspects of, of the human experience and, and, the, and life and science and so on. So there's different benefits to both, but nourishing your mind with words, nourishing your mind with reading is really important. Even documentaries, you know, being intentional about what you're watching, like whether it's something like that's going to raise your vibration, like comedy or rom-com. Um, or you know a documentary and not just watching like I'm very bad at this I watch a lot of like true crime because I find it just like fascinating that there are like psychopaths out there and people that are like you know well yeah commit crimes like it's just something that I can't really understand myself I'm being more intentional about how much of true crime I consume because I know that it does lower my vibration listening to positive affirmations listening or watching even like podcasts and youtube videos that are there to help you that are there to make you feel inspired and happy not like the gossip channels of like you know tea spilling and that kind of thing i think i used to kind of really like those channels but they're not they're not nourishing your mind i think we all know with things like you know reality tv celebrities lives or just other people's lives is like it's fine i think sometimes there is room for it sometimes it can be fun it depends but generally speaking, if it's like something that you do on a regular basis or you engage with on a regular basis, it's not the highest vibration that you can be at, essentially. Um, and like, yeah, listening to mantras, like talking to yourself with positivity, you know, talking to yourself with like compassion and support. I think that's really, really important. And yeah, like, like I said, listening to affirmations, positive affirmations, money affirmations. I'm listening to a lot of money affirmations at the moment. And it's like just subtle things that really, really help. You know, I'm really into my spirituality. So I'm always trying to look for like new videos that are going to nourish my mind, make me learn more about myself and my spiritual journeys. Yeah, just being very aware of like the kind of things that you're nourishing your mind with and things you're consuming is essential to leveling up because again this goes back to distracting yourself like you know if you're focusing on other people you're not focusing on yourself you know if you're engaging in gossiping it's like you're talking negatively about other people's lives you're not focusing on like you know yourself you're not looking introspectively and thinking okay how can i be different essentially like leveling up for me is like about doing activities that heighten your vibration and things such as like nourishing your mind is and being intentional about what you consume is a really important part of that. My final thing is nourishing your body. This is something that I've very recently got into. My parents are retired. They have recently got very much into their fitness, their health, their longevity um, and doing things to kind of give them a longer and healthier life. And my dad especially is very, very into his gut health. Gut health is really, really important. It's becoming more and more understood, researched. I think as a society, we are very focused on like calories and how much calories we're putting into our body. And that actually doesn't matter as much as the type of food that we're gonna be putting into our body. Processed foods are the problem. So for example, you could literally make a burger from scratch and chips from scratch, and that is better than buying like a lower caloried burger and chips from Mackey's. That is better because you know what's got into it. You know exactly how it's been created and it's been made from scratch by you. On a side note from that, putting love into your food is literally so good for your soul, I swear. You making the effort to like make food for yourself is such a high vibrational activity. Don't try and be perfect, try and just do as much as you can. You can just lesser the amount of processed food you eat and the, the effect that it has on your gut is 
insane because the thing is your gut actually affects your mood and this is why gut health is so important not obviously for the actual the health benefits obviously that that's clear but also for your mental health um, it does wonders when you eat nourishing food when you eat food that's good for you it feeds those healthy bacteria in your gut unfortunately when you eat processed food you're actually killing a lot of the healthy bacteria in your gut and then that obviously takes a while to even grow back so um, it's just it just has longer effects than we realize that's certainly one thing that's leveled me up it's like improved my mental health it's improved my skin it's improved like the softness of my skin like low-key i used to have like quite a full like a fuller face like i was a little bit more plump on my face and that's kind of gone now or at least gone to a far extent and it's just helped me just get to a weight that's healthier and get to a, a place where my body feels better i feel able i feel mobile i don't feel sluggish as much so yeah gut health is really important and i'm not about to come on here and tell people like how they should live their life but from my own experience and from the benefits i reach from it i would recommend it and certainly look up books and research that you can sort of investigate this with so we've got two we've got um a book called spoon fed uh, why almost everything we've been told about food is wrong by Tim Spector. It's shiny a bit with the sun, but yeah, there's that one. And then this one is really good. It's by um, Julia Enders, um, and it's just called Gut, the inside story of our body's most underrated organ. And I, uh, I believe she's a doctor. So definitely take a look at these two books because they're really good for understanding the gut and its importance. Those are five things that have really helped me level up. Um, and just made my life like magical, made my life better, um, really just raised my vibration. I have so many more. I could do like tons of videos on this. These are just five, um, but I think these are my five top ones right now in this very moment. And it's just really important to focus on yourself and look after yourself and prioritize yourself. The more you prioritize yourself, the more abundance that comes into your life. And these five things um, really contribute to that. Anyway, I hope you have a great week or weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.